Hello there, welcome to Yearly Reviews, the show where I review all the games that I've played through the year of 2020. Now I 2020, glad you asked, it's a pandemic, we've got nothing to do, and I was bored. So, without further ado, let's get on to today's review. I personally don't think that I'm pretty easy to scare, or at the very least, frighten. I know I sound a little bit pompous here, but hear me out. When I play most horror games, it's rare that it can often get under my skin, and oftentimes I'm scared by the jump scares it presents except when it's obvious that it's coming. However, there are a few games that have unnerved me in the past, one of which being the game that we'll talk about today, Lone Survivor. The game's story isn't really explained to the viewer, so I guess I'll just come up with my own interpretation. Imagine if you're a zombie apocalypse survivor, and you're all alone. A lone survivor, if you will. <laughs> So you have to gather supplies, and because you rarely have weapons, sneak or shoot the monster creatures outside of your safe space whilst trying to get out of your current location to an even safer place. The obvious strong point that I have to mention about Lone Survivor is its art style and presentation, or maybe to put it in a better way, its lack of detail in the foreground. Its pixelated presentation really gives it a new flair from other horror games and works well as you see all the little details in the background. However, the shining point for me is the sound design. This is the exact reason why Lone Survivor gets under my skin a little bit, as the monstrous sounds for the creatures you'll face are just ghastly and really up to attention at certain points and always frighten me. However, I feel like at times when there are barely any monsters around, you start to notice something. The game does quite like you repeating certain actions and backtracking, and backtracking is never a good thing, it just ends up being tedious when you have to repeat certain things over and over and over again. Say for example when you run out of supplies, so you have to make your way down a corridor, maybe cause some monsters if you haven't already, buy the supplies and then make your way down again. You get what I mean by tedious, right? So aside from those thoughts, do I think that Lone Survivor is great? Uh, no, not really. I think that if it didn't really have a unique visual design or excellent sound design, I wouldn't really even give it a second thought about it. And even if I did, I really wouldn't enjoy it with the constant backtracking involved. But anyway, enough of hypotheticals. For Lone Survivor to actually exist in reality, to me, is a middle of the road game to me. I just find it a little bit mediocre.